G'day everybody, uh, Matt here from Matt's Fishing Escapes. This is um, my eight-year-old daughter, um, Matilda. Um, we're packed up, ready to go on a, a quick fishing trip uh, over to Port Vincent. Uh, not chasing anything spectacular today. We've got another reason for going over there. My dad's turning 70 in September and he's the reason that I fish today. Um, Dad has been a huge influence in uh, my life, um, a bit of a hero. Um, he's got a great life story. He was a cabinet maker for 25 years, went back to high school, um, got his high school certificate, went through university, became a tech studies teacher. I know there's actually some of our subscribers that were former students of my dad, um, Harry, in, uh, in Jamestown and Peterborough, and his last part of his career, he got a lot of kids into school-based apprenticeships to really help them excel in their life and get ahead. Um, he's turning 70 in September, but he does live in the mid-north, so he doesn't get to go fishing very often. Um, but he's got a trip uh, planned for the next couple of weeks. Um, so what do you give a guy that's 70, sort of got all the tools and everything else that he needs, um, but some sort of, um, I guess something special that uh, he can really treasure. So I reached out to Chris Britton at Chris Britton Rods, and I organised to get a handcrafted, um, custom made rod for dad for his 70th which is pretty cool huh yeah um, it arrived it arrived very early but it's good because it arrived in time for dad uh, to get it so what we've actually ended up with um, is uh, Chris Bitten rods um, a, a two to five kilo tawny spin it's a six foot six single piece uh, and it's got um, a sick ring uh, Fuji um, uh, uh, ring uh, eye rings um, it's got a skeleton seat um, handle so you can see the gap between the, the rod and the handle um, and most importantly um, I was able to as a custom made rod put a little message here for dad which is teachings life lessons one cast at a time um, through uh, my good contacts and friends I'm a member of Mark Berg's Attic Tackle group um, so uh, Mark Berg's fishing so through Attic Tackle organized this amazing um, uh, reel the Stratic um, FM uh, 2000 HG, so it's basically the body of a Stratic 1000 with the spool of the two and a half, um, paired with um, 10 pound suffix braid, camo braid, um, and we're going to be presenting that to Dad today. Secondly, you might be realising that if you've watched some of my videos, this isn't my product. What's going on there? Well, I've recently- You've got a new job. Yeah, I've recently taken a new job that I'm really excited about. And this is the company car. It's a 20- Pioneer Water Tanks. Yeah, so the, the job that I've taken is as general manager of Pioneer Water Tanks in South Australia. We're the master dealer. We're the number one, Australia's number one big tank supplier. Um, we do commercial and we do residential. Um, water tanks builds for water capture, storage, reuse and recycle. Um, and this is a 2013, it's got a few Ks on it, 250,000 Ks, LC200 Land Cruiser. It's very hard to do because it's different technology. Yeah, it's a bit of a step back in the technology from the Kakadu. So Pioneer, um, with all the Ks that I'll be doing extra in this car, they've sort of become by default a sponsor of the channel, which is great. Um, we'll also do a lot of uh, tanks over on the York Peninsula and rural areas where we'll be traveling for our fishing anyway, so it, it makes a lot of sense. Let's go fishing and uh, let's go surprise Dad with this awesome reel and rod. Let's go. Dad, come here. Come here. You're going to be in camera if you don't mind. Oh. <laughs> it's your 70th birthday in September. Yeah, that's right. And I had an idea for something and I got it. Right. But um, it's something fishing related, so I thought you don't go fishing all that often, so I'd bring it to you early. Oh, okay. Right. That's lovely. So, as I said, you're on camera. Oh. So this is a your new rod. Thank you. It is a custom made, six foot six, single piece yep. rod, two to five kilos, so perfect for chasing your whiting, your tommies, your flathead, whatever. Fantastic. And it's um, matched with a Shimano, it's on a skeleton seal, real seat. So yeah. it sort of looks like a, a skeleton, hence. With a yeah. Shimano Stratic 2000, matched with a 10 pounds suffix braid. Wow. Yep. And um, 
yeah, I've got to bring the box back to you. But yeah. Thanks. And if you have a look at the rod, there's a little message on it for you as well. Oh. Turn it around. I don't know if you need your glasses or not. Thank All you. right, no worries. Happy birthday. Yep, thanks, Matt. No That's worries. Lovely. And Tilly. And Tilly. Thanks, Dolls. That's fantastic. Well, I'll be right now, Louie, won't I? Yeah. So we'd already we'd already told everybody that um, you're you're a former teacher and stuff, but the best thing I think you ever taught was me how to fish. Oh, thanks, Matt. That's all right. Yeah. Well, you know, it's like I've always told people, I raise my kids on the port in a lunga jetty. Yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to head out fishing onto the port uh, Vincent uh, Wharf now, see if we can catch some Tommies. Tilly, come here, you turn around. Tilly wants to potentially catch some um, more Tommies on her Z Man Micro Shad Fry Z soft plastics. Yeah. And I'm going to do the old fashioned float with some gents. Sounds cool. Excellent. So, after that bit of excitement, we're getting Dad his uh, custom fishing rod. Just, um, how you going, guys? Why don't you come in here? I'm doing a YouTube video if you're interested. Yep. You want to come on in? <laughs> so, guys, we've just arrived and some Hi. kids are just wanting us to know what this is. Okay, that's a trumpet of fish. Yep. Um, they're not really good eating. Uh, okay. So, you can either use him for bait or I'd get him back as soon as you can. Yep. So. You could take him, but yeah. Well, that was a bit of fun and excitement. So first things first, bit of burly. Um, <coughs> I've got the uh, got the burly bucket. You're going to help me, Tilly? Yeah. Why don't you come sit over here instead of standing there? Uh, we've got some uh, Tassie salmon oil. We've got some all-rounder burly aniseed pellets. And I've also got this... Uh, Walkley's finest a bit herring and garfish mix, which um, I found has worked actually pretty good. All right, so. I'm just gonna fill up about half with the pellets. Ta, you thank you, it's a knife, good one assistant. Um, and so I'm just gonna put, <coughs> so I've just put the, the pellets in and then the lighter herring mix on top, and then just gonna put a dash of the salmon oil in that. And then we're just gonna put that down in, the, down in the water. You can see that starting to go out and that should attract the fish. Lots of fish. Okay. Yeah, do you want a fish, Dilly? What? Do you want a fish? Yeah. Well, grab the one that's got your thing on it. So we're just gonna put a Squid teaser out as well. We'll see how that one goes too. We'll keep an eye on that. So we've seen a few um, salmon, well what if you think is salmon, coming through. So we're just going to try the, uh, haven't done it very well, I'm going to do it again, the 3.75 inch streaks. Z-Man in opening night on a uh, 2 one quarter ounce painted Demon Z jig head. I'll come back when I've got it all rigged up properly. All right, so we are actually rigged up now. We'll uh, see if there's some young, uh, sorry, see if there's some big salmon around here. Dad's got something on the new rod, looks decent. Another trumpeter. Bigger trumpeter, but another one. So we're having to filter through quite a few shitties here. Oh, and foul hooked. <laughs> but uh, hopefully the Tommies or salmon come through shortly. Look at them all around the burly bucket. My God. They are... There are thousands of them. <laughs> Looking at them all around the bit. Oh, oh my god, I want to fish here. Got something. I know that way. Oh, Fowl hooked another trumpeter. Look at them. On the slims, on the, on the streaks. There are so many of these ones around. Fowl hooked him through the tail. Oh. 
we've got some some sort of action. The uh, 3.75 inch streaks got cut in half, and Tilly's little 1.75 also got a bit destroyed. So we're just going to rig up another uh, streaks and see how we go. Because they often make a sound like burp, burp. It went on itself. Out the way. Go cast. Yeah. Hang on. You've lost your tail again. But anyway, keep going. Dang keep going. Until right, he's caught another trumpet. Oh, Three spiky little bugger. Yeah. I'll oh, stop moving and I'll get you back in the water. <sighs> oh my. Seriously. Hoping that the Tommy's coming in soon. Or oh, salmon. It's good. Yeah. Got another trumpet. Dang it! I'm just going to bring mine up because I don't want to get a sneak grab on it. There you go. Go again. I've never seen that many trumpeters before. It's 4.30. Oh, that's a nice fish. That's a Tommy. Big jump, did you see that jump? <laughs> Sorry. It's not huge, but it's a Tommy. It's not huge, but we'll keep it in case you want a Tommy teaser or something. Oh, quite a way out. Yeah, yeah. That's a Tommy. That's a good Tommy. My dad's caught a good sized Tommy on the new rods. It's keeper. That's definitely a keeper. Quick. Oh, I just had a bite. Got him. That's a good one. Uh, look at that. Uh, this might be a trumpeter with it, how it stands so low. Oh, it's a weedy whiting. Big one. But not what we're looking for. Oh, seriously, dude. It's for the camera. Little weedy, weedy whiting. Apparently they do taste all right, but not not what we're looking for. They're just a bit soft to flesh. Yep. Yep, another nice one. Up and out. Oh, sorry, I'll get my rod out your way. You don't have to worry about it. Got one. <laughs> As I'm pulling it back. Hey, little one. Decent. Can't tell. Oh, I thought it was a little, but it's actually pretty good. Reasonable size. I mean, you know, little for the type the fishing. Actually, what you want to do, uh, yeah, the, get, give me your rod. The top packet there is your, the very top packet. The very top packet in the bag. Yeah. Oh, can you put that one in the box so we don't waste and litter everywhere? Take that, put it back in top of the box, please. Oh, thank you. Can you give the belly bucket a shake while I'm doing this, please? That's a good one. That's probably about 25, 26 centimetres. <laughs> he doesn't want to let go. There you go. Thank you. There we go. It's pretty good, Tommy. It's getting into salmon trout territory size. Watch my line. Got him. <laughs> didn't even feel it. I didn't even feel it on the actual, on the rod. I just saw my line go straight. These are good Tommies. Oh, he's absolutely nailed it. I oh, know, right in the corner of the mouth. 
There we go, another good size one. So just watching, yeah, yeah. just watching your braid, you can see it go straight and then strike. How are you going, Till? Pull up, just flick up. All right. Again, you need to cast out. We're catching the Tommies further out. The trumpeters are close to the jetty and the Tommies are further out. All right, so keep casting as far as you can. That's great. But keep, yeah, cast as far as you can. We might only have a half an hour bite window here, so make the most of it. No. All right, chill. Keep working it. Keep working it. What's a Tommy? You can tell the way they fight. Yep. Another Tommy. Good size one. Hey, you go. Yeah, good. Got him. That's a Tommy. They're a bit further down in the column, aren't they? I think the trumpet is up the top. Oh, they're definitely aggressively biting when they do bite it, but I've got it. Oh, seriously, the tiniest of hooks and I can't get it out. There we go. There we go, nice little one there. You're jumping out here. Put it on so you can see. All the Tommies, all the Tommies just jumping out here. See the fish jumping out here, Tilly? Yeah. Well, catch them. Got one. Not a big one, I don't think, unless he's swimming in with me. It's a Tommy. Boat flip. <clears throat> yep. Oh, schizoid. Here we go, another nice one. Let's go again. That... Sorry? You are? They're just letting it sink a little bit further. I think the Tommies are lower down in the water column. Oh, that's a nice bite. No, it's only a little fish, but I think it's a nice... Whoa, he's schizoid. Yeah, no, I was just saying he, um, he, he took it pretty hard. And then I thought he was a little one because I couldn't feel any weight, but that's because he was moving around so much. They are. And something's bitten that one. hook off, so that's a bit annoying. Oh. Something else. That's all right, I'm just going to stick with one hook. You can't get into too much trouble with one hook. No, nothing. Swivel and a hook and small, small um, ball sink, uh, small split shot at the bottom hook. Oh, yeah. Just above the bottom hook, just to give it a little bit of depth. Yeah, yeah. There you go, see, it's getting. Oh, oh, oh. Got him. It's just more natural for them, yeah. and they can take that run without feeling weight. And yeah, yeah that's a good one. Good fish. Yeah. Set him wear himself out. Nice. Yeah, we'll have a feed. Yeah, it does, and all I want to fill it. Yeah. There you go. Nice, uh, nice yeah. little one. Got it. That's a baby, that one can go back. Uh, it's just a little baby that can go back. Not oh, these off. Footy kick. All right, let's see if we can catch some more fish. This, I mean, there's heaps down here and they're jumping all over the place. Got him. No, it's a Tommy with that jump. It's a good Tommy. Up and over. Ooh. How are you guys? Oh, and I got one while I was waiting. I was getting that off the hook for you. Doubles. Oh, hang on, that might be a salmon. Settled. I don't think it is when it's... 
No, it's a Tommy. It's all right. It's just had big yellow dots. Another nice one. We haven't had a session like this for a while. No. That Burley's definitely done a trick, I think. Once we got through the... Once we got through, got through all those trumpeters. Oh, look at this. You can see them all out there. Jumping all over the place. Got him. Go, oh, that's a good one. Hang on, I'll turn the camera back on. Might be a trump. Oh, he got off. Dropped it. That's right. I think it was a trumpeter, the way it was fighting. It was a good size one. Yeah, boy, boy. Got him. Come on. He's swimming in. Oh, he's very placid, this one. Look at it. <laughs> Look at this fish over here. He's just like, oh. He hasn't realised he's hooked yet, I don't think. Now he has. <laughs> Didn't realise he was hooked, I don't think. <laughs> he was just cruising along. <laughs> yeah, he's swallowed that. Inhaled. Oh, he got away. No, he didn't. I thought he was about to get over the side there. <laughs> he tried. So, I mean, that's how simple the rig can be. Swivel down to a size 8 own a hook with some maggots, gents. That's honestly how simple it can get. Oh, I've never seen fish do that around a burly bucket. They're literally moving the bucket. <laughs> He's got it. He's got it. Got him. This one knows he's hooked. It's not as big. Might be foul hooked even. Oh, it's like one tried to jump up and bite the line. I'll let you free. Oh, got a bit of gills on it now, but that's all right. They like that. They are carnivorous. Look at them rolling around the bucket. Got him. Wasn't recording that one. Well, these are similar to the good size ones we're getting in our drossen the other week. Yeah. So they've obviously moved a bit further south. We'll no, nah, it's just gone back in under. Just about empty. I don't think we really need any more to be honest. Got him. Oh, flip. Did I ask you? Did I ask you? Have a look at the ones down the burly bucket here on the right. Oh, yeah. That's mainly trumpeters, but. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. There's a few big Tommies in there as well, but mainly trumpeters, which is fine. We'll keep them entertained by the burly bucket and catch the Tommies out the back. Hey. Hey. Oh yeah, down around there or up there? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the mullet are good around here. Snook, mullet, squid, flatties. Flatties off that beach down through there. Yeah, they're all over there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're all over there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're all over there. 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 Yeah, they're all Squid off, off the end of the breakwater. Oh, this is a little one. Do you want a little one to eat? Look! You know you can get a toy like that. You can get a fish toy on Amazon, I think, that plays like that. That'd keep you in town for hours, wouldn't it? Come on. Have a good night, guys. Got him. God, he was just literally, literally sitting on there sucking on it. This is a good one. 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 That's a trumpeter, is it? Yeah, damn it. <laughs> They're fun to catch, but. Yeah. Well, there's got to be something in it for us. <laughs> Get him right out there. 
might head off soon. She's probably had enough. No, there's no light at this end. There's only light. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm glad first time you've used it, you caught some fish with it. Oh, that's another. <laughs> that would have won long jump at the Olympics, that one. <laughs> Not the biggest, but again, we can keep Keep a few for Tommy teasers and stuff to Tommy. That's a good Tommy. Flip him, flip him up. Over. What's good? Got him. They're not. It's a good size. Yeah, I'm recording. That's, yeah, that's my battery going dead. So we've uh, lost the head camera, because at this late stage, I'm not going to change the batteries on it. But probably need to catch another couple when we're probably done anyway. I think they will get bigger as the sun goes down a bit further. I think the tide's changing just because that dead bird's starting to float out now. It was, high tide was literally just before dark. And you can see the line on that pole out there that the shag's sitting on. Down about, you know, 20 centimetres, 30 centimetres. That's tiny. Boat flip. You're missing out on all the fish, Dilly. Thumbs up. Do you want to come try? Do you want to come try? No. Oh, oh. Hang on. Another good one. Whoa. Did a tilly. Tried to knock it out on the jetty. Oh, that is so funny. I'm not even trying. Big trumpeter. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna catch one. I'm gonna catch one more, and then I'm gonna start cleaning these, or not, you know, scaling at least. The ones we've got, because I'm actually getting a bit hungry for dinner too, which we'll get probably at Port Waitfield on the way home. I just had a bite. We're definitely going to get one on this cast, I think. Got it. Oh, got off. Sorry. If you had the head cam, you'd see it doing Olympic long jump, that fish. There you go, there's a, there's a sticker for your bucket. That's Inku Squid Tackle. Oh, thank you. No worries. Oh, got that one. All right, and that's probably the biggest one of the day for me. We'll call that quits. Thanks for joining us. Um, glad Dad caught some fish on his new rod. Um, check out Chris Britton Rods, um, absolutely great service, customised colours, messages on the rod um, and of course if you're in the market for a Australia's number one big tank, um, give me a shout at Pioneer Water Tanks in South Australia.